Rule number one, marketing is the key to making money. It's more important than sales. This is from the guy who wrote the book, How to Sell. I literally wrote the book on sales. I'm telling you, marketing is more important. Biggest mistake I made in my business career was not putting more of an emphasis, more of a focus on marketing. I did do one thing right. I built this organic, a free marketing channel that I'm speaking to you on that's now getting me 200,000 views per month between my website, YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. Biggest mistake I made was not focusing on paid marketing, paid advertising, correcting that mistake as we speak. Uh, but marketing is the key to make money because you can't get paid without attention. It doesn't matter how good of a closer you are. You need people to know about you. You need people to know about your products, your services, to be able to even want to get on the phone with you and, and close a deal or want to give you money or want to buy one of your products. Okay, you don't have a cash flow problem. You have a qualified leads problem. Let me say that again. You don't have a cash flow problem. You have a qualified leads problem. You say, sell personal training, okay? There's basically six billion people on the planet and there's basically six billion people who are out of shape and need personal training. And if they were able to get in shape on their own, they would have done it already. Okay, but they're in their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, their 50s. They don't have the willpower, they don't have the discipline. They need someone to hold their hand, give them a routine, tell them what to eat, and get them in shape. Your health is the greatest gift that you could possibly give to someone. It, it would be doing a massive service. And the vast majority of people need personal training. They need someone to do that for them. Of those 6 billion people, you maybe have, I don't know, 100,000, 500,000, 1 million, 2 million people who are qualified to spend $10,000 on a package that you'd be offering. Okay. You know, thousand dollars a month for a year on a personal training package. Okay. Millions of people qualified to spend that money. And let's say you offer a good service right? Um, and you can give them that result, you know, everything in your power and, and will hold their hand. And all they have to do is just listen to exactly what you say to give to, to, to get that result. You have more clients, qualified clients who are willing to spend money than you possibly have time for in the rest of your life. Okay. That's not the problem. The problem is not the marketplace. The problem is not the demand. The problem is not even the demand as well as people who are willing to spend the money, who have the money, okay? Good leads, qualified leads. Problems that they don't know about you, okay? There's more leads, you know, qualified leads than there are, than, than the hours in the day that you have to, to manage those people, okay? That's not the problem. The problem is they don't know about you, all right? You've got more qualified clients than you have time for on this planet. If you're selling a high ticket service with a lot of demand, the problems they just don't know about you. Okay, sales is important. Being a great closer, being able to close these people, being able to manage objections, being able to assure, being able to reassure, being able to mitigate fears. Um, all these different really important things are, are necessary, but it doesn't matter how good of a closer you are if you're not getting attention. Okay, if you're not going out there and, and getting um, access to people, okay? Prior to the internet, you had to do what I did, which was cold call, right? And 90% of cold calls is just getting attention. It's calling 100 people and telling them about your product. Most sales you make are going to be laydowns. Most sales you're going to make are, are people who are interested and, and didn't put up a lot of resistance. Okay, before the telephone, it was knocking on doors, right? Door-to-door -door salesmanship was was you know your 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 marketing okay that and um direct mail flyers which still work by the way uh dan kennedy if you want to read about marketing read magnetic marketing by dan kennedy he'll talk about how he still makes money with flyers you know a brother of a client of mine is a hundred thousand dollar a month painting business he's 26 he built it on cold calling and putting flyers under doors okay you know, if you don't have money to, to pay for marketing, all right, cold calling, in-person approaching, um, flyers in like high ticket, high price condos, that's the way to go. Yes, you can build a brand like I do, but, but prepare to dig in for like two years before that starts paying off, okay? I recommend YouTube, website, 
too much work. Website should only be a sales page. Recommend YouTube. Um, if you already have a brand, get on YouTube. Put a lot of work into YouTube. It will pay off, but it'll pay off over time. Okay. And if you're doing seven figures already, crank up that marketing budget, dude. Spend, forget about spending, you know, investing, um, you know, your 8% index fund, your bullshit gold return, you know, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Throw that money into that flywheel, that, that 2x, 3x marketing return that you can maybe get every single day and compound and put back into your business. You know, double down, triple down, quadruple down on your high ticket business, um, you know, because 100%, 200%, 300% returns are possible on, on paid advertising. Frank Kern says this is the golden age of sales. You can think what you want about Frank Kern, or sorry, marketing, um, but I think he's right. This is the golden age of, of marketing right now. And um, by the way, I don't like fucking marketing guys. I don't like sales guys either. I was a salesman. The vast majority of these guys, I actually like Frank Kern, the vast majority of these guys, the guys tell me in marketing, I don't fucking like them. All right. I don't like, I don't even like doing sales. I don't like get on the, getting on the phone and selling. It doesn't matter though. It's, it's important. But marketing is more important than sales. Okay. 